the big controversy of the day, because every day a new controversy, that's the theme of today's America. The president of the United States has now said in an interview that he is interested in signing an executive order that would end birthright citizenship for illegal immigrant children. So here is the way the law currently operates. If you come to the United States for virtually any purpose, unless you are a foreign diplomat, you come to the United States and you have a baby in the United States, that baby is automatically a citizen of the United States entitled to all rights and privileges conferred upon all citizens of the United States. The reason that this is a, a controversial issue is because nothing in the Constitution actually says that this is the case. Not only does nothing in the Constitution actually say that this is the case, there's pretty good evidence that the framers of the 14th Amendment had no intent to do anything remotely like this. Suggests that just because you come to the United States and then you have a baby here, your baby is now a United States citizen. And this does have some pretty significant costs involved. Right now you have, in California, we've seen many stories about this. You've had situations where legitimate birth tourism is happening. People are traveling to the United States just to have babies in the United States so that their kids become American citizens. And there's some pretty significant impacts. The Center for Immigration Studies, which is very anti-illegal immigration, they estimate that between 300 and 400,000 children are born to illegal immigrants in the United States every single year, meaning one out of every 10 births in the United States is to an illegal immigrant mother. All of those children are considered by the executive branch of the U.S. government to be U.S. citizens, enjoying the same rights and privileges as the children of U.S. citizens. The population of U.S.-born children with illegal alien parents has expanded rapidly from 2.3 million in 2003 to 4 million in 2008. And that does not include children who are 18 years of age or older, so the actual figure is actually somewhat larger. All of the benefits that are available to American citizens are obviously available to these American citizens. There's a lot of talk about illegal immigration not having a tremendous impact on the American economy because illegal immigrants are barred from federal welfare, for example. Their children, however, are not. And this does lead to chain migration because children are now U.S. citizens and they can sponsor their parents for United States citizenship. The Center for Immigration Studies suggests that many of the welfare costs associated with illegal immigration are due to current birthright citizenship policy. They say greater efforts at barring illegal aliens from federal welfare programs do not reduce costs because the kids are still American citizens. Nationwide, 40% of illegal alien headed households receive some type of welfare. In some states, the rate is higher. In New York, 49% receive welfare. In California, 48%. Only 19% of households headed by native born citizens make use of a major welfare program. In other words, Illegal aliens who have American citizen children are taking advantage of welfare at exorbitant rates. And states offer additional welfare benefits as well. This is all according to the Center for Immigration Studies. Again, the L.A. County supervisor estimates that illegal immigration and birthright citizenship cost taxpayers in L.A. County over a billion dollars annually, not including education costs. That's a lot, a lot of money. 59% of illegal aliens and their U.S.-born children live in or near poverty. And again, then these kids are able to sponsor their parents for residency in the United States. So there's a lot of talk today about this is racist. This is the Trump administration trying to simply bar people who are differently colored from coming into the United States. No, there are serious economic costs associated with low income people and low and poorly educated folks who are illegally immigrating, illegally immigrating to the United States, coming here, having babies, their kids become citizens, and now their kids are entitled to all of the benefits that American citizenship confers. So President Trump suggested today that he could change all of this by executive order. Here's what he said. He said, it was always told to me that you needed a constitutional amendment. Guess what? You don't. And then he said, you definitely can do it with an act of Congress. But now they're saying I can do it with just an executive order. We're the only country in the world where a person comes in and has a baby. And the baby is essentially a citizen of the United States with all of those benefits. It's ridiculous, ridiculous. And it has to end. Okay, so there are a couple of contentions that he makes here. Contention number one. Birthright citizenship is bad policy. I tend to agree with this. I think the birthright citizenship is bad policy. If you're just coming across the border and having a baby in the United States, that does not mean that you have come in through our legal immigration system and your children are going to be much more impacted, obviously, by their parents than they're going to be impacted simply by force and dint of living in the United States. So if you're interested in a country that assimilates people to American values, you need people immigrating legally and then having babies here legally. 